Hi everyone, welcome back to RC Fun and Games. I'm Ryan, as you know, and today we are going to do another upgrade on the awesome CR-18P Mario Van. And we are going to be installing this awesome transmission set that we get from RC All-Wheel Drive. They have sent this to me so we can install it, check out the performance gains, and of course, give my opinion on this awesome part that they have made for this platform. Now, let's get this packet open. Let's check what we get inside so we can get this installation done. And of course, they always send out some really awesome stickers. I really like these. Now, we are going to check out what else we get. Okay, we get all the hardware sent and we get this cool aluminum gearbox mount. So, we'll get that open in a second. Let's check this transmission. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, check that out. I've got to say that does look really nice. This is a 370T motor and it's a 34T. It's got all the gears in there, as you can see, are all metal. Let me get you closer. Okay, now that I've got you close up, you can tell that all the gears are metal and we are definitely going to have to put some grease on this transmission before we assemble it to the van. Besides that, it does come with an adjustable system, so you could run a bigger pinion gear and you can set the gap between your pinion and your ring gear, of course. Now, the rest of it, I've got to say, looks really awesome. I like the design. I like the finish off of it. And I'm really, really looking forward to giving this 370 motor a test on the rock band. Okay, so let's get the body off so we can access the transmission. Okay, so let's start by getting this transmission out. And I'm going to take out the plug for the motor. Then I'm just going to remove the three screws at the bottom. Now we should just be able to take this straight out. Oh look, my front drive shaft is already almost broken. So we're definitely going to have to get some upgraded drive shafts for this. But for now, let's just get this these drive shafts off and install them onto the other transmission just so we can test it. And of course, I guess one of my next upgrades will be getting the drive shafts. So, let's get those off. Okay, so let's grab our new transmission, throw our drive shaft on there. Get the rear one on as well. Okay, now that we've got the drive shafts on, we'll make it a lot easier to turn the motor and transmission, which now I'm going to take the opportunity and quickly throw some grease onto my gears. Okay, just going to grab my trusty old Castrol high temperature graphite grease and I'm going to coat a nice thin layer across the teeth. Okay, now that we've got it all greased up, you can tell there's no point in putting any more grease as it just pushes it off the teeth. You'll see as we run it, it makes like a layer and it runs off it. And over there, you can see it actually sucks it back in. This is why I still prefer this grease over most. I've used waterproof grease in the past, but I find it pushes off the gears easier than the graphite high temperature grease. This actually takes away more sound than most greases. So in my opinion, this is what I use, but you can use any grease as long as you're providing lubrication to the metal gears. Now let's move on to the next stage. 
Okay, now we can move on to removing our gearbox mount plate. And then of course we're gonna have to take off the links so that we can change it over to the new mount. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the gearbox mount and we are gonna assemble the gearbox to the gearbox mount. I think it's easier to do it outside before it's in the van. So I was just looking at the way it is and I really don't like the way the bottom of the transmission is not gonna seal up with the mount. It's got a little groove for it to run in, but it definitely does not seal. It sits very open in there. Okay, I just wanted to show this that when the transmission is put on the plate, there's nothing on this side of the transmission to support the transmission. It's just those two screws what have a bit of a higher point and I can't say I'm very impressed with that design. Besides that, it looks good. Let's get the screws in and see how it goes. So we're gonna grab the little packets of screws that they provide. So there's two different size screw inside the packet and we're gonna be using the smaller ones for the transmission. So now we just put that there As well, looking at the screws that, that they provide, their own mount has got countersunk and the screws they provide are flat headed. So in my opinion, that's not the right screw for this and I can't say I, I'm going to use that. The other screws they provide are these and they definitely not right either. Going to have to use the screws they provide as I've got nothing with a countersink that will fit so we're gonna just have to use this but I must say I am not impressed anyway let's get it in okay so this is what it looks like at the end and if I put it up for you to see you'll see what I mean the screws are catching they are not flat and there are absolutely no other screws provided part of this kit which I find ridiculous. If you're selling it, then why aren't you providing any countersunk screws with the item? Now, that I've got to hit them for because that's not a good policy and why would I want screws poking out the bottom, causing it to grab and get stuck on the rocks? Yeah, not happy with that design. It is secure, but listen, you can tighten them as tight as you want. I don't like tightening screws that tight and it still continues to have the wobble. They're gonna have to look carefully at what they've designed here and come up with a different solution or at least provide some countersunk screws and I would like to have seen one more screw hole and support on the other side of the transmission because as you can see, you can see right through there. There's absolutely nothing supporting it besides these two little things over here. You've got one on one side, one on the other side, and to me that's not a great design. Now, I don't really want to hit the product, as you know it was sent to me, but I've got to be honest with my um, review, and in my opinion I don't like the way that's been made. And the fact that these are the screws that I've got to use, and I've got nothing I can use that's better. Even the original screws were countersunk, if you pay attention but you can't use these on this transmission because it goes into aluminium, these went into plastic. So yeah, I'm really not impressed. Okay, so I went for some SCX24 screws I had lying around. They sit a lot better, but they still come out the top a little bit. But being rounded, they're gonna slide over items a lot better than the original screws that were provided. The motor used to face forward, but I believe they want us to install it backwards. So let's take this and drop it back into the Jesse. Okay, once we got the gearbox mount in place, just drop one of the smaller screws that they provide. It's 
since we're on this side, we might as well get our links back in. Okay, I'm assuming that the bigger screws provided part of this kit is for the links. Now, I forgot to put my drive shafts in when I was assembling the transmission mount, so I'm just gonna release this side. And don't forget, when putting it together, make sure it's in phase. Okay, now that we've got that all fitted, let's grab our cable and let's just plug that back in. Okay, we'll tidy up the wires afterwards. Let's get our battery in. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay. Now. Okay, like I've demonstrated, you can't really crawl with this setup. Maybe they'll sell some other gears for it or a different um, pinion gear for the motor. But the way it is, the way you get it, you definitely can't crawl. But if you're looking for some speed, yeah, uh, that's insanely fast. I definitely don't need that kind of setup for my crawlers. Now, if you're looking for an extremely fast setup for your trucks for some reason, I've got to say this RC all-wheel drive transmission and motor combo is crazy. But um, yeah, I can't get it. If you're trying to crawl slow, you can see it just does that. And that's as slow as you can get it to go smoothly. And then it's got the insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, we're going to take it out on the trail. I'm not going to bother running it on the backyard course because this is clearly too fast for my backyard course. I don't think we're gonna get any kind of good crawling footage. It's all gonna be speed footage. So let me get it out. Let me show you guys what this transmission and motor combo do. Okay, before I run away, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on another one. And I hope to see you all on the next one. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. It really all helps the content get out there, which helps my little channel bring more content like this to all of you. Until the next one, happy trails, everyone.